Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Virgo, for the week of December 19th, right through Christmas. So, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, whatever it is that you celebrate, Virgo. Just know I'm celebrating with you. Now, let's get right into it. Let's get you a Moon Oracle card. Oh, look at this, the new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. Huh. I never know what that card means until I get more into the reading. Nothing will come of this situation. Oh, Virgo, what is this all about? Virgo, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. What kind of animal spirit is walking with Virgo spirit? What kind of animal spirit? Oh, the hyena. Virgo, you are fired up about something. Something has got your hackles up. Cosmic egg, you are about to burst wide open with some knowledge here. Something about the third eye opening up here. And the gazelle, very jittery. You're very nervous about something here. What is going on, Virgo? What's going on? See, let's see. Let's get you a Zen tarot card for up in the ether for Virgo. Flowering. Well, that's what's going on. You're blossoming right now. So interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Ooh, I love this. I love that. That's a queen of pentacles sitting with mother nature, really, really uh, flowering <laughs> and compromise. Some kind of compromise going on with you. Hmm. Wow, what are you compromising? <laughs> All right, what are you thinking about? What is on your mind, Virgo? What is on your mind? Spirit, tell me about Virgo. Eight of Swords, you are all up in your head, Virgo, and the Four of Pentacles. What is going on with you? You are all up in your head. You are really stressing out here, holding on, kind of in survival mode right now. So maybe the holidays have just got you kind of up in a frenzy here and it just feels like too much. You're feeling very overwhelmed, very overwhelmed. What else? What else for Virgo in the mind space? What else for Virgo? How can we ship this energy? Ooh, two of cups. I love that. That's how we shift the energy. Partnership, a merging of energies, not being so resistant to the energies, but merging the energies and integrating the energies here, Virgo. So yeah, there's a merging that's happening. That's why you're feeling just kind of off balance. It goes one side to the other until we find that real, real balance there. Empress coming through in the mind space. Wow, Virgo feeling very, very nurturing and open to receiving here. So you go from this real resistance to just blocking everything out. I'm overwhelmed. I can't hear you. I don't want to hear you. To a merging of energies, to a compromising of energies here, to a flourishing of energies. Now, now you're integrating all. Now you're accepting all. There's a real acceptance here, Virgo. Wow, I love this. I love this. Virgo, you're so nurturing anyway. You're just such a nurturing soul. What else in the mind space? Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy, but gaining momentum. So I love this. I love this because it shows that you go from this overwhelmment to this, I can't take anymore, don't tell me anymore, to this merging of the energies, to the integration of it doesn't matter, I got this anyway, to this nurturing, loving feel to you where you're accepting of all, and that's gaining momentum. <laughs> How beautiful is that? <laughs> What's in your heart space? What are you feeling? What are you feeling, Virgo? What are you feeling? What's in the heart space for Virgo? That wants to come out. There's that Queen of Pentacles. You are really, really sitting in some Mother Earth, sitting in some appreciation here in silence. Leave me alone, Virgo says, for a minute, for a minute. Nothing wrong with that. But you're just gathering your senses back. You're just gathering yourself here. And that leads you to this merging of energies. So I love that. I really do love that. I think the Queen of Pentacles might be 
Virgo energy. Four of Wands. Look at this celebration in your heart space. I love this change of events here. I love this turn of events where you go from being way up too much in your head, worried about everything, worried about getting everything done here. There was like this to-do list that really overwhelmed you and then you just kind of let some of it go. It's like, do I have to do all of that now? And you just kind of let some of it go. Leads you to some real freedom of, of, of unburdening yourself with everything. Virgo, you have this tendency to take everything on to you. And now you're learning, you're learning how to delegate, you're learning how to release some of the control of it and let others handle some things, trusting others here. You're really learning how to trust others here. And it's working because you find this freedom that you didn't feel before because you're just learning how to trust it and trust the people around you. Trust the people that they have your best interest at heart here and they're not against you. Look at that with the tower. That's exactly what spirit wants you to learn here is trust, 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 trust. Do not get so caught up in your head that you're the only one that can do this or you're the only one that can handle this. Others have this as well, and Spirit is showing you that. They're taking that all down for you. Something is released here. Something is uh, released here from you, and it happens like this. It comes in so quickly to change everything for you and to relieve you of some of those responsibilities, relieve you of some of the burden of, of handling it all or controlling it all or making sure that everybody's happy or uh, just trying to um, take care of it all. Just take care of the world here, Virgo. That's what you've been doing. You've been taking care of the world here. And Spirit is like, that's enough. We got this. Trust us. We have this. And they prove that to you in one moment there. In one moment, they prove to you, we got this. Love that because it's so evident. It's so evident. There's going to be no way that you can dismiss this. There's going to be no way that you can dismiss that this moment was to teach you to trust here. You're going to know that in the moment, in a, in a lightning flash moment. Page of Swords, there's that revelation. There's that aha moment. There it is. You can see it now. You've learned it now. There's there's uh, information learned here, gathered here, the merging of the energies, the merging of the light and the dark here in one moment here. So that's exactly what that is. You see that lightning just lighting up that black sky, the merging of the light and dark here. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. Because it gives you this aha, aha moment. And it's in your heart space. So you feel feel this moment you feel it you just know that okay that was meant for me and to teach me to trust i have to trust i can't just be the only one here that cares this much or or can handle this much there's got to be others and spirit shows you trust it's okay you've got to trust us two of wands look at this preparation for the future now now you're you are preparing for something but don't get in your own way there with the two of wands don't keep making the decision that you can't trust or that if you let someone else take it over they will fail they can't do it like you do it it's time for you to release that virgo it is time for you to release that and trust trust others around you trust spirit most importantly virgo this moment is going to teach you to trust yourself here Trust yourself. We got this, Spirit says. <laughs> Look at this walking away in your foundation. I do love that. It's like all of that time, energy, effort you put into making that fire. And now you're just trusting that Spirit's got it. Now I lit the fire, Spirit. You keep it going. It's like the Olympics with the eternal flame there. You know it's eternal now. Now you walk away. You're not even looking back, Virgo. You know that flame is burning. Do not look back. They got this. <laughs> love that. Love that release. That <laughs> Don't look back. <laughs> what else? What else in the foundation?
validation, reciprocity. See, you do get the return of it. People will not let you down. They won't disappoint. They got this. They might stumble, but that's theirs to do. So they have to stumble so that they can learn, that they can flower themselves and they can grow themselves. So don't be too hard on them if they do stumble. It's like a toddler learning to walk and they fall down. And you know, you're not going to say, get up. What are you falling down for? You understand you're merging that energy. You understand they're learning how to walk. So you let them stumble and you let them fall and you laugh at them and you say, uh, let's try again. Let's try again. And you trust that they will learn how to walk. You trusted that if you, if you've raised a child and you know, you were a child, you were stumbling and you're somebody in your life said, it's okay to stumble Virgo. It's okay. You'll get back up. And they trusted that you would, and you did. So that's exactly what you're learning how to do here, Virgo. You're learning how to trust the process here. And it comes back to you. It's a complete return from spirit here that your trust was warranted. Oh, look at this. The friendship group comes in with the three of cups and the foundation and the six of cups. Wow, real soulmate energy coming in to uh, remind us that it is all about the trust. That's what we're here for, to learn how to trust each other and to have each other's back and to encourage each other and to help each other thrive and to let each other make our own mistakes and, and to not... Uh, belittle those mistakes. All mistakes are for purpose. All those stumbles are for purpose. So you're just really, really, really learning to trust the process here. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the maturity, the wisdom, the wisdom that you have gained by letting go of the control of it and just surrendering, just releasing that need to control the outcome here. Oh, I love it. I love it, Virgo, because no longer do people have to uh, meet these certain expectations or it just it just relieves you of so much here so much king of pentacles i love the solidness in your foundation here the sturdiness this i got this this trusting nature of yours this real releasing of the fear of it all and how it could turn out and all of the worst case scenarios that you've analyzed and studied and you figured if I worried about it, if I prepared for it, it wouldn't hurt so bad. And then it hurts so bad anyway. It just does. It, there's no stopping it. And so you're just coming in, in this realization that if I'm worried about something happening and then it happens that I've gone through this twice now because I was so worried it was going to happen that when it did happen, I was in that same worry. I was in that same state of mind that same mind space. So what did it matter? What did my worry matter here? And you just coming into this merging of that energies and it is glorious. I love that. King of Cups on the bottom of the deck, a real, real understanding now, a real release, Virgo, real release. It's just so beautiful. You can sit in peace now without your mind driving you crazy without those thoughts torturing you that Virgo you got to do this and Virgo don't forget that and every time you tried to sit in silence it would just come in to torture you to show you that that lightning in the the black sky the chaos that can go on and the peace the transformation that we can garner from that so oh Virgo it's beautiful look at these kings I mean you're really stepping it up 2023 is going to be very very powerful for you because you're learning how to trust and it's just so beautiful what are people thinking about virgo spirit tell me what people are thinking about virgo the hanged man there's that very long time that you were stuck in that cycle just really trying to learn how to trust people having their eye on you people really watching you and studying you and uh yeah they really have their eye on you can't take all of those possibly, but let's see what's here. The Ten of Swords, the Devil, Death, and Rebirth. <laughs> Two of Swords and Seven. Oh my, Virgo. If there is a bad card, or at least a negative slant in a card in the deck, 
it's here. The only thing that's missing is the three of swords. Now remember, this is the energy around you, Virgo. This is not your energy. But your energy does include some kind of big surprise, some kind of big revelation for you. So it may have something to do with those around you. But boy, are they going through something with the Ten of Swords and the Devil. Something very, very toxic that they're trying to rid themselves of. And it's a whole new death and rebirth for them. So how interesting is that? Somebody who really keeps tabs on you, really got their eye on you, and uh, uh, they feel very, very betrayed. I don't know if they feel betrayed by you or if they just feel betrayed by the world, but they are very uh, feeling very negative, and then they have this huge death and rebirth, this this huge awakening themselves, this, this big, big change for them. So very interesting. Seven of Swords is usually the sneakery card, but I always use it as getting my power back. But with these other cards, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to keep those cards just because they fell out for purpose, but they're at a crossroads. What did Spirit tell me was that this person is at a crossroads about the fool? <laughs> I did not see that coming. So that is sitting on the tower. It usually does come out after a tower moment, the fool or the world or the wheel, some kind of massive beginning because the tower is a massive ending, an ending to the chaos, an ending to um, all that, uh, that has built up, that just is not needed, that we do to ourselves. We just get into this resistant energy where we just work so hard towards something. And when we get too, too focused on it and, and forgetting uh, the other things in life, the other purpose in life, then it all just comes down on us. But there's a new beginning for this person. And I am really, really happy to see that. Aries energy coming out after the betrayal, after the negativity, after the very, very long cycle for them that went on for a very long time. And then they finally get this death and rebirth and this full energy coming out for them. So I love that because who hasn't sat in this energy before in their lives of just having everything go wrong when it rains, it pours, it's all for purpose, never feels like that at the time ever. So I always um, am happy to see the turnaround in that energy because yeah, it's, it's just, it's just uh, such a horrible time. Oh boy, but boy... Virgo, are you teaching them how to trust as well, how to trust again because of all that went down with them? So there is a big theme of trust here, and that's that's really, really important to remember that spirit has this, that you cannot predict, and, and anything can happen, and you know, life is what happens to us while we're busy planning for it. So, so there's a real need for you to release that and for others around you to, to release it as well, because it is just not serving them well to um, just keep predicting the bad outcomes or what could go wrong. Two of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Offers being made and preparation looking at the future and um, really starting to plan now, starting to plan and having some hope here. And I love that. I really do love that. What's in their foundation? Well, there it is, the world. This is a brand new cycle for them. So, so happy to see that because that was really, really tough energy for them to get through. And now they have this brand new beginning and um, yeah, I love that. I love the balance they have found here and seeing the other side of it so quickly. So I really do love that. It's sitting on your Eight of Cups, so you're walking away and you're trusting. You're trusting that that fire is still burning. Don't forget, you, you didn't look back. And they're going through these huge transformations with you. But I think that after that tower moment in the center of your heart space here, that it came down to trust. It came down for everybody involved to trust that, trust the process of this. And um, now you're coming into the understanding of the process. You're flowering into the understanding of the process here. So I love that. I really do. What else is in their foundation? What? Tell us about... There's the nine of swords. <laughs> oh man, this person or people. I, it could be more than one person, but it is just an energy of worry and stress and nothing ever works for me. And when it rains, it pours. It's just really, really hard time for this, for this person to understand the meaning and all of this. So I really, um, 
sending this person love and let's let's get you through this five of wands competition and page of cups offers offers of love coming to them but there's a lot of competition around them there is a lot of stress around them the energy around them is very tough as well too so they're just learning how to be more resilient, how to be more of the water rather than the rock. You know, I use that analogy in the ocean when the, with the rocks and the water, the rocks eventually get worn away by the water. They can resist so many things. They, they're very resilient, but the water is more resilient. The water will wear away those rocks. So that's just what this person is learning here is to be more resilient, but it can't be when you're in that energy. So that helps them not. <laughs> <laughs> king of wands so king of wands on your king of pentacles here's someone that is a real true leader that is stepping up beyond any kind of competition or backstabbing or it's usually a boss figure or leader of some kind here really stepping up to take matters into their own hands here because the energy just got too too heavy too sneakery there was just something going down and um, somebody stepping up to really clear clear the uh, rubbish now now it's just yeah it's all it's all just um, blown up it's just blown up hmm. interesting you'll have to leave me a comment let me know what this is um, I would love to do a reading for this person because there's a way to shift this out there always is there's just a new perspective to have on it so uh, there's a new beginning waiting for them absolutely but this does affect you Virgo really really does because the tower is in your center of your heart space here but it teaches you to trust so I really like that I really like it for you but for them it just really blows their world apart here and they're going through something so um yeah I have nothing but a compassion and <laughs> wishing this person super quick recovery from this into the next phase for them into the next cycle which they are doing very very quickly here with the fool and the magician on the bottom of the deck so love that all right, Virgo, yes, this is all about trust for you and um, learning to trust and um, taking that sigh of relief that you don't have to handle it all. The spirit has this and uh, really getting into more of the experiencing of it now it's without the worry, the, the worry that it has to be you. So I love this. I love that. All right, Virgo, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, whatever you are celebrating. Please know that I am celebrating with you and I am sending you so much love, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching.